Hey, do you guys remember how for like a solid year and a half that spider pig song from the Simpsons movie just completely took over all culture? I don't know. I don't know why. Like in retrospect, I don't know why. But yeah, I, I don't know. It's yeah, it's like locked in everyone's mind. It was dumb and catchy. Yeah, but was it that catchy? Have you rewatched the movie recently? No, I just randomly found the like Homer saying that in my head. It's just weird how much of a lock that has, you know? I, I remember the Simpsons movie being pretty good, Can, but I haven't seen it in ages. Can somebody remind me? I, I kind of remember the Simpsons movie being like the last hurrah of good Simpsons. Like it, it was good and then it went downhill and then for the movie they like summoned their, their like spirit together, their spirit bomb and they, yeah. It was the last hurrah. Okay, well, well, that's that's pretty good, right? Like, I mean, it's better better that than like being shit all the way to the end. You know, it was middling, nothing amazing or terrible, just mid. Maybe I don't I don't know. I watched a pretty good video on the downfall of The Simpsons recently. I think it was from that YouTuber who has the name and icon of that philosopher. Jonas Seika CCK Philosophy. There we go. Yeah, the class analysis of Joker and the Dark Knight. Uh, a Heideggerian analysis of Studio Ghibli's films. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, is this... Did they used to call themselves Cuck Philosophy? They did! This was Cuck Philosophy! Oh, yeah, 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 there we go. Okay, yeah. I thought that I was familiar with their stuff before I saw it. I, I, but I didn't remember the name. Okay, why did they change Cuck Philosophy? That's a good name. Anyway, yeah, The Simpsons and the Death of Parody. It's a good video, very good video. Was Cuck Philosophy an anti-fan? Not really. I think that basically everybody above the age of like 25 is a big fan of the earlier seasons of The Simpsons. I just don't think that a lot of people understand like how different it was to what was available at the time and how funny the earlier episodes were. I think... The main thing that made The Simpsons really, really, really funny, I think, was that there was an underlying sincerity that let them feel like they could just make 50 jokes a second and just keep rolling with it. Because, like, modern adult animated comedies will do, like, they'll do the Family Guy thing where they'll make a joke and then they'll rub your face in it. Like, they'll make a joke, they'll build up to a joke, and then, like, you will all stare and you will laugh at the joke and if you don't laugh at the f joke then god god help you because we are going to be here for a while on this f joke you know family guy is infamous for it but yeah yeah like the simpsons would just do like 12 jokes in a row and not linger on any of them it's very it's very good it's very good the steamed hams bit is good even outside the meme yeah yeah maybe a lot of younger people watching are only familiar with the steamed hams bit but like the steamed hams bit that's what all of early simpsons was like like the steamed hams bit is funny for the meme or whatever, but it's also like 20 jokes just in a row with like no, there's no like beat to pause, you know? Like the superintendent, superintendent Chalmers and Principal Skinner will just be riffing back and forth and there will be jokes in every set of lines, but they won't like... Even Rick and Morty does this. R Rick and Morty is so pleased with it. Rick and Morty is pretty good with like the series of jokes in a row, but even then Rick and Morty can't help but like rub your face in some of of their super smart. Yeah, like they 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 can't help but like cuz they're so self-aware, you know. <sighs> it was literally the same as Futurama but less sci-fi. <laughs> I think people overstate how good Futurama is. Now hold on. The good bits of Futurama are really, really good. But the good bits of Futurama were never as good as the best bits of The Simpsons. Sometimes people talk about Futurama as like the better Simpsons, and that's just not, that's not true. That's not true. Futurama is great. But like, I do not think that it ever topped the best of The Simpsons. Yeah, I know, Matt Groening made Futurama, I know. I mean, it's the same art style. I will say Simpson had higher highs, but Futurama is more consistent highs. I think I could agree with that, yeah. Especially now that Simpsons has had like five trillion seasons. Yeah. <laughs> so you hate Futurama? You got me. You you found out the hidden meaning. 
covertly uh, contained within my statement, yeah. The Troy McClure bits and the old Simpsons. Well, there's a lot. There's so many good bits all the time. What do you think of the take that The Simpsons is out of touch with it being a middle-class family where one job could afford three kids, two pets, two cars, the house washer? Do you think that's... No, I think that's important, yeah. Because the whole point of The Simpsons was that it was supposed to be a satire of, like, the super pro-family, schmaltzy, overly sincere, conservative American sitcom. And in line with that, like, Homer has, uh, Homer has a good job, you know, because he's, like, the safety inspector at the nuclear plant, so he can afford the house. The problem is, like, it's, 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 it's a sitcom, so they can't change the status quo. But ultimately, this is the problem with, like, cultural satire. The culture changed, so the stuff that The Simpsons is satirizing doesn't exist anymore. It's not the same culture. And you can't change it because then you're doing something different. Ultimately, you just can't keep a sitcom going for that long unless you're willing to change the status quo. Or, alternatively, if you're going to do a satirical sitcom that's meant to challenge the status quo, your characters have to be so out there to begin with that they can survive cultural changes and adapt to them. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. The characters are basically the same from beginning to end on a fundamental level, like excluding some early season weirdness in season one. They maintain the same basic character traits, but they're so out there that culture will never reach a point where the behavior of the It's Always Sunny crew becomes socially acceptable. It's not possible. And they're willing to adapt and change. What about South Park? I've never been a South Park fan. I've just, I never have. South Park is allergic to sincerity. Um, the worst thing you can do in South Park is care about anything. If you go into an episode of South Park having a sincere value on any issue associated with the episode, uh, the show will make fun of you for it, and I think it's really f***ing lazy. I, I, I think that comedic writing is difficult, but I think that comedic writing that is also meaningful is even more difficult, and I think that, like, Stone and Parker are really good at comedic writing and really f***ing bad at comedic writing that's meaningful, because it seems like so often all they have to say is, like, I, like look at me, I'm sniffing my own farts, I'm a comedy writer, and that's really annoying, you know? The best episodes of The Simpsons from the earlier seasons, like, it was very obvious what points were being made in addition to the comedy. And I think that's much, much, much better than just making jokes. This is another issue with um, Rick and Morty as well. Because the first season of Rick and Morty, you have, like, this constant recurring comedic through line of Rick being self-destructive and self-hating and whatever. And then it's like, oh, wow, I wonder where they're going with this. Are we making a statement about how these, like, edgy, nihilistic, like, haha, look at me, I'm the joke a baby, super smart protagonists are actually, like, completely miserable and insufferable, and we're actually gonna, like, lean into that, and it's like, nope, here's season seven, he's still doing the same thing, <laughs> like, nothing can change, it's a sitcom, so, yeah, have you seen Disenchantment? I saw, like, two episodes, it was, eh, it didn't really 